Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Tuesday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time, June 23rd, 2020. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us center ourselves and recognize that we're in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. Our first psalm is Psalm 101, entitled, Avowal of a Good Ruler. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart I will never endure. I look to the faithful and the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So that your people may walk in innocence, you came to us, Lord Jesus, and told us to be holy as your Father is holy. Help your children to love what is truly perfect, so that we may neither speak what is evil nor do what is wrong. Let us stand in the sight, in your sight and celebrate with you the Father's love and justice. I will sing to you, O Lord, I will learn from you the way of perfection. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. Our canticle is taken from Daniel. It's entitled Azariah's Prayer in the Furnace. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your same sake, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were holocausts of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs, So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly for those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Our next psalm is Psalm 144, entitled Prayer for Victory and Peace. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. 
shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string harp to you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, God of strength, you gave your Son victory over death. Direct your church's fight against evil in the world. Clothe us with the weapons of light and unite us under the one banner of love that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of earthly life. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Our reading is taken from Isaiah. All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Blessed among us today is Saint Edreldreda, an abbess. Edreldreda, one of the most popular of the Anglo-Saxon saints, was the daughter of King Anna of East Anglia. Though she wished to devote herself to God, she was twice forced into political marriages, the first time to a much older man who died shortly after the wedding. She was happy to settle into a life of prayer on the Isle of Ely, a desolate piece of land which her husband had given her. Nevertheless, she was soon forced into another marriage, this time to a prince of fifteen. Her consort was content for some years to comply with her wish for a chaste relationship, but eventually he sought to revise the terms of their relationship. Ethreldreda insisted that she had taken a vow to maintain her virginity, appealed to Bishop Wilfride of York. The bishop sided with Elthreda and consecrated her vocation. Returning to Ely, she established a double monastery for men and women. In his History of the English Church, St. Bede notes with wonder that Ethelreda never dressed in linen garments but only in simple wool, that she seldom bathed in hot water, customarily ate no more than one meal per day, and regularly spent the entire night in prayer. He also relates at length the story that when her coffin was opened, 16 years after her death in 679, she was found to be incorrupt as if she had died and been buried that very day. And this virgin began to be the mother of many, both by her example and her heavenly admonitions. That was a quote from St. Bede on St. Ethelthreda. Our Responsory Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Dawn finds me watching, crying out for you. All my trust is in your promise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Our Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. The re our response today for our intercessions will be In trust we pray, O God, come to our aid. 
God of bountiful blessing, your mercy is in the cause of our joy. In trust we pray, O oh God, come to our aid. Send your ready help to young people who are pressured by gangs, peers, or heavy responsibility. In trust we pray, O oh God, come to our aid. Care for the needs of those who are recently home from war, prison, traumatic circumstances, COVID-19. In trust we pray, O oh God, come to our aid. Shower your care upon those who are rejected, ignored, or bullied by others. In trust we pray, O oh come to our aid. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, our priests, our deacons, our deacon candidates, for our parish ministers, parish staff, for all those who devote their time, talents, and treasures, especially our parishioners, those who are sick, and those who have passed away. In trust we pray, O oh God, come to our aid. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer amid a COVID-19 epidemic. Jesus Christ, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global threat of coronavirus that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or who have died as they worry and grieve. Defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected who, and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness, or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Jesus Christ, heal us. Increase in us, Lord, the faith you have given us and bring to a harvest worthy of heaven the praise we offer you at the beginning of this new day. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the peace of Christ reign in our hearts now and always. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please take care of yourself and each other. And may God be praised.